Hi, I'm Amanda Davis, CNN sports anchor and correspondent, and I have one of the most fantastic jobs in the world, and I know I'm very, very lucky to have the job that I do. I get to speak to some of the most fantastic sports people. In terms of my favourites, well, no girl can say anything other than David Beckham, can they? And I got to speak to David Beckham just before the London Olympics opening ceremony, when we knew he had a part, but we didn't know which part so I was trying to get it out of him was he going to be lighting the flame the interviews that had gone before he didn't give anything away at all so I just started throwing words at him is his role going to involve animals no is it going to involve children no is it going to involve footballs no and then I said does it involve a flame and he looked very cheeky did that David Beckham grin that sees women fall at his feet and he said yes I think there is a flame aboard and then his face fell and he'd given too much away and we didn't run the word aboard because that would have given away the fact that he was on that boat uh, but yes very very lucky to have interviewed David Beckham one of my other favorite interviews perhaps a little bit more surprising at the Russian Winter Olympics in Sochi Evgeny Plushenko, the figure skater who had the weight of a nation on his shoulders. And he got to the uh, men's figure skating singles event. He jumped in his warm up and uh, landed, hurt his back, and then had to pull out. And it was a, a national disaster. But he was a fantastically flamboyant Russian. Gerd Nowak, who is the man that most people wouldn't recognize, most people wouldn't know his name, but he is the man who mentored not only Michael Schumacher, but also Sebastian Vettel to their 11 World Formula One titles. So that was a very, very special moment. And then one that I think will also surprise people is Kimi Raikkonen, the man known as the Iceman, who so many people have horror stories to tell about interviewing. If you get Kimi Raikkonen in a car let me tell you he comes alive and he will answer any question that you want him to answer I talked babies with him I talked best friends with him I heard about his first car and how he had to rebuild it with his brother that was one of my most special interviews driving around Maranello with Kimi Raikkonen in a Ferrari